Hello, mother and daddy. Today I want to give you the good news that all pregnant women can have the COVID-19 vaccination. These, re these organizations' recommendations are in support of the COVID-19 vaccines for pregnant women. They have looked at tens of thousands of reporting individuals over the last several months, and they have determined that the vaccine is safe for women at any stage of their pregnancy, as well as breastfeeding moms. Now, it's important to get vaccinated because pregnant women are at increased risk for severe complications and even death due to COVID-19. Now, this is not medical advice. Check with your OBGYN. But I just wanted to make that information known to you because previously, pregnant women weren't allowed to have the vaccine. Well, that was initially. And then several months ago, it was determined just based on the information that we have that pregnant women could get vaccinated as long as it was after the first trimester. And now that more pregnant women have been vaccinated and the data has been looked at and it has been determined that this is very safe, this will protect moms. So just check with your OBGYN or your doctor in order to determine which of these vaccines are the best one for you. Now, we know that there are several variants out there. Right now, we're dealing with the Delta variant, and there's a Delta Plus variant that's out there. The Lambda variant is here now in the United States. The World Health Organization has designated as the variant of interest, this Lambda variant. Let's hear from this physician who will tell us more about that. Uh, travel has increased, um, more people are moving about, a lot of precautions have relaxed. It can very easily become the dominant variant in the U.S. Already we have cases spotted in Texas, uh, so it's only a matter of time before more of the country is affected. This is the newest one of interest. There are others um, that also have been identified, but because this has become so prevalent in South America and is at risk of um, you know, becoming prevalent in the U.S. already, um, we already have that one case. That's why we're talking about it now. The bigger concern with these new variants is that we get to a variant where our vaccines are no longer effective. So far, you know, including the Delta variant, the vaccines are very good at keep, keeping people out of the hospital. Uh, yeah, I've not heard that there's concerns about resistance to vaccines. Most of the variants of concern, and it's uh, not been labeled that yet, it's a variant of interest, are ones that uh, um, transmit more easily between people. And yes, we are watching it. I can't tell you off the top of my head if we've, I believe we've seen one or two, um, I haven't seen the latest on our whole genome sequencing that we've been doing on all of our cases here in BC. But the same things apply. We know that getting a high level of vaccination protects us from all of the strains that are circulating right now. Um, we know, I presented the data last week, that the vast majority of people who are getting sick with COVID right now have not been immunized. And we think about the people who are in hospital, the people who are in ICU, the vast majority of them, less than, less than 4% of the cases that we've had in the last um, two months have been in people who have been vaccinated. So we know vaccine works, it protects people, and that's what we need to focus on right now. What can we do to keep these variants from popping up? Sorry, yeah, that these, it's another one of the variants. We know that the same measures that we take to prevent transmission work against all of the variants, um, including Delta, which is the one that we're seeing circulating quite frequently right now. We're still seeing a lot of the, uh, uh, the gamma as well, and a little bit of alpha, and a, few, a smattering of a number of others. But the measures are the same. It's keeping sick people away from well people so that they can transmit it. And it's all of us being protected from the, the virus by being immunized. So that's all I have for you today. Stay tuned to Mother Baby Daddy for more information.
to help you and daddy have a happy pregnancy and a healthy and happy baby. Thanks for listening and I'll see you in the next one.